What's up, everyone? This is Jeff from the Overwatch team. We have a very special feature to talk to you about today. Uh, the, the mindset we were in when we created this feature was that we needed to give you more ways to craft your own gameplay experience. As you all know, Overwatch is a team-based game, and that's what makes a game really fun, is playing, winning, sometimes losing with other people. But also, sometimes those teammates can cause frustration, and at times it feels like you're kind of helpless at, with no control over the situation, and that's the problem that we're trying to rectify. So we had a feature planned for season 10, but we have some really amazing engineers, and they were able to get it done sooner, so we want to introduce it to you as soon as possible. This feature is called Avoid as Teammate, and let me describe how it works a little bit. So you'll play a match with somebody, and then anywhere where you can normally access that player in the interface, whether if you're playing on PC, you can see them in the, in the chat. Um, if you're playing on PC or console, everybody has access to the social menu. And wherever you can access a player, one of the new options that you'll have to set on that player is avoid as teammate. Now let me describe what it does. You can have up to two teammates avoided at any one time. And I'll explain that number a, a little bit more in detail and why we, we came to that number. Um, but you can have two teammates avoided, and when you select somebody to be avoided, they will be avoided for seven days in terms of the game putting them on your team before it makes a match. Now, sometimes you will still see that other person on the other team, but they shouldn't be set to be your teammate for seven days. At the end of seven days, they drop off that list. Now you can re-add them to that list if you want, but you only have two slots, so you have to be a little bit mindful of how you manage that list. Also in the social menu, when you've avoided somebody, there's now a separate section that shows the avoided players that are there. So if you ever wanna unavoid somebody that's there, that's perfectly possible as well. Now, to give you a little bit of explanation of why we're doing this, uh, there's a lot of occasions that happen in the game where you're frustrated with a teammate, but it's not necessarily a reportable offense. So perhaps somebody on the team is completely disagreeing with the heroes that you're picking, and they keep saying in, in chat, whether it be voice chat or text chat, you know, hey, I really want you to switch from hero A onto hero B, why aren't you playing them instead? And you're starting to get really frustrated and the person's not harassing you, they're not saying anything overly negative, but you just don't wanna be grouped with them again. That's a great example of a chance to use avoid as teammate. Another example is when you actually do report somebody, maybe they are harassing you or they, they um, are using inappropriate chat, if you want an immediate action of not being matched with that person in the next match, not only can you report them, but then you can also avoid them as a teammate for that instant action and give you control over your experience. Now, there are some side effects of this system that everybody needs to be aware of. One is that there's the potential that this will cause longer queue times for finding a match. Now, it's highly unlikely, especially at the middle sk skill tiers that will see any sort of lengthening of the queue times. But it is possible, especially at, at levels like Grandmaster, in smaller regions in off hours, that using the avoid as teammate function is gonna cause longer queue times for everybody. Um, and this is something that we'll be keeping a very close eye on, and that is why everybody is limited to only such a few number of players. Um, we have systems in place to monitor this. If we feel like we can open it up to more players, uh, we, certainly, we certainly will. The other thing that we're gonna keep a really close eye on is match fairness as well, to make sure that the matchmaker is still making great matches and that avoid, this, uh, avoid as teammate is not causing any issues there. Now there's one other extreme case that I wanna make you aware of because some of our players are inevitably gonna run into it. And that is that if you are a player who is being avoided as teammate by many, many other players, you're gonna get a warning when you log in that says, hey, a lot of people have avoided you as a teammate. Um, when this happens to you, you just need to realize that for that week, 
you, you need to be concerned. One, you should be thinking about why are so many people avoiding you as a teammate. But the second thing is that you're gonna run into longer queue times because the system, it doesn't have a hard time finding you a match. It has a hard time finding you a team. Now, if you're in this situation, the best thing for you to do is to just form your own group um, and then find a match. You should find a match in regular time at that point. But the system, when you've gotten a high number of avoid as teammates against you, the system is gonna have a very difficult time uh, finding you other teammates to be on your team. Um, this will only happen to a very small percentage of our players, and we believe that the behavior will correct over time when players realize that they're doing things that other players aren't sort of crazy about. So we think this one will fix itself very quickly. As with all of our systems, we're paying very close attention. We hope that you enjoy having more control over your experience in Overwatch, and we're gonna continue to bring uh, features to you that let you craft the experience exactly how you want it to be. Thanks so much. Thank you.